You hear that? Maybe you don't think you hear anything, but there's actually fan noise that's coming from the computer that's currently recording this video. And it, it, it's more apparent when I stop talking because the microphone, my, uh, microphone that I'm using that has foam on it, it's a microphone, uh, is picking up noise from around the room. And a question was asked uh, on uh, one of our Nomi's groups, these are the Nomi's behind me, uh, someone was wondering how they could make their computer, their desktop computer, uh, run a bit more quiet than it was running. Now their fans, it's like an airplane about to take off. And I've had computers that sound louder than the, 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 the sound that's coming out of this notebook computer. That sound there. So uh, we stepped through a few guidelines, if you are curious, on how to reduce the fan noise on the desktop computer. You can take a look. It's linked here in the, the video's description. Uh, one thing you could do is invest in quieter fans. Yes, not every fan is built alike. There are fans that do run quieter. Of course, one other way of going is water cooling. Uh, the, the, where are the fans in water cooling? It's water cooled fan cooled. Uh, of course, you could buy a quieter case. That could also help. Um, you could also use a fan speed control software uh, or even hardware or using them in conjunction with one another. Of course, artificially throttling your fan without understanding you could overheat your computer and damage components inside, um, not really recommended for everybody. Uh, but we've detailed, uh, I would say at great length, uh, some of these tips that can help you make a, a quieter desktop experience. Not just for you, but for everybody who might be around you. These computers can be loud when they are doing what they need to do, and that is computing. I'm going to go ahead and plus one this, like Harry Creter, Alex Piero, Sean Jordan, Skyler Johnson, Stacey Ferris have done. And speaking of plus one, what I want to do now is pop over to my Google Plus page, because Martin Voss uh, was uh, he was very helpful, I think, uh, in, in adding tips to uh, this list, he posted a comment on the Google Plus thread for the article, and so I just wanted to share them with you, because I think he, even though Matt covered some of these points already in the article, he makes really good points. Uh, he says that a quiet case doesn't have to cost more than $200, so if you got budget in mind, uh, keep that you know at, at the forefront. It's not going to cost you as much as a new PC. Uh, fans should be large, slow spinning, and quiet. Stock fans on CPUs and GPUs tend to be very noisy. Replace them with a big heat sink. A big slow fan is optional. And this is, again, according to Martin. Uh, get components that are energy efficient. Power usage means heat production. And heat means airflow, which means fans, which means noise. And he, he notes here, probably the most important component is the PSU. It handles all your electricity needs, will get hot, and has its own built-in fan. Get a quality PSU with high efficiency, less wasted heat, uh, and he notes a couple of uh, brands that he believes are, are pretty decent. Uh, now, of course, it's going to vary depending on your configuration and somebody else's. Uh, but he also notes here that uh, faster hard drives do make a lot of noise. Uh, going with a solid state option is certainly quieter and sometimes better because it's faster. I'm a huge SSD fan. I, I Going with hard drives anymore, I'm just, not because of the noise, but because of the speed. I love solid state disks. Oh, I love them. Actually, solid state drives. Can't call them disks because there's really no disk inside there. It's all blip bits and flipping things. Up. If you have any other tips for making a quieter computing experience, please share them. Uh, we appreciate if you share them as a comment here in the video or in the article to make it better for other people who might be looking there uh, for information on a, a better experience because that's what we're trying to do with Locker Gnome. Make your life better.